Hey, this is Robert at Guzzi Fabrication. Now, this video is aimed at the DIY guys and gals working on your projects at home. Yes, you can. We're building a really simple replacement floor patch panel plus a simple transmission tunnel. Okay, so left side, a lot of holes. This is our Project LS truck. I put an I did it steering column in it. I've already started the template for that, but we're going to re be replacing that floor section. First, we're going to start with the transmission tunnel. Like I said, this is our LS project truck, a lot bigger transmission, have to build a new tunnel. So we're going to be using poster board. And what I'm doing is I'm just, I've got the measurements. Now I'm laying out the uh, cut lines. I'm going to be putting a flange on both sides to fit into the factory flange, bending that up on the template. All patch panels, things like that, when you start fabricating them, you use uh, a template. That's what we're building here. Now, it's going to be a lot easier to cut this thing in half. We're putting some shape into it, put it in the vehicle, then we'll tape it together. That's our rough... Uh, rough outline there okay so this is where it gets serious now your final product once you've transferred it to steel or sheet metal is only going to be as good as your template so take your time make your template accurate and we're going to get that thing taped together exactly where we want it making sure of all of our clearances And then once we're happy, we can transfer it to sheet metal. And we're going to have a flange on both sides. We don't want to cut it too short and forget to bend that paper up. Yeah, we'll run out of uh, material for our flange. And those arrows... That's where we're going to break it or bend up a 90 degree uh, angle. Okay, we're going to get it cut out. And we're going to use a uh, welding cylinder to put shape into it. If you don't have a slip roll at home, hey, this will work also. And I want to encourage you, if you may not have all of the tools that I'm using, but they can be duplicated in other ways. Like this is a break. Makes it easy, but you can do the same thing over a nice straight edge of a table, clamping down a uh, bar over the top and then bending it slowly. And we're going to check the fit. That's our lower part of the tunnel. Fits into the factory uh, flange or recess. And I've already created the top template. And like I said, we're making this really simple. And we're going to get that transferred. Got our flange. That's the shape we want. And whenever you're doing replacement body panels, 18 gauge, 20 gauge, both of those are fine. Most vehicle sheet metal thickness is around 20 gauge a lot of people have a misconception that metal is a lot thicker than it is well it isn't it gets a lot of its strength from its shape and we're going to get that cut out and hey working with the poster board if it's not going your way hey wad that thing up throw it away start over and it's the poster board is not that big of a deal. Get your template really accurate. And we're going to put the flange in that. And go back to the welding cylinder, put the shape in it. There it is. And now we just want to tack it in a couple of places and 
in uh, so that it doesn't move around because we want to remove it and then weld it from the inside. That's going to give you a much better finish. Okay, we'll get that thing out of there. And you always want to check the clearances. You don't want something too tight or uh, like if we ran out of room for our or if our transmission was hitting. Yeah, we don't want that. Okay, we're going to dress it down a little bit. I'm going to go over it with the DA. Uh, smooth it all out. Make it nice. And I'm using a hand punch here to put our holes so we can bolt this into the factory location. Now we have the option we can either weld it, use those as plug weld holes, or bolt it in and out. So we want to give ourselves the option there. And we've got a really nice fit. Get the steering column removed. I've already made the template for the replacement patch panel for the, the driver's side. Yeah, a lot of holes. Now, something important, see those uh, lines there. Those are strengthening lines. We're going to be doing a little bead rolling. And we've got a nice fit. Everything looks good. Just repeating the process. And so like I said, if you don't have all of the tools, they can all be replicated. And you can use other tools, be creative. Hey, borrow tools. Harbor Freight is still a uh, place where a guy can get pretty decent tools, uh, pretty relatively inexpensive, guys and gals. And we're going to put a slight break in this thing and get it installed. Well, first we're going to put our uh, plug weld holes. Get our bead rolling done. Now they do have a manual bead roller. Now these are for strengthening if if you don't do this, it'll cause oil canning. The uh, metal will pop in and out. Now we're getting our plug well holes installed. Now you can use a drill to drill the holes. This tool is from Dent Fix. If anybody's wondering, makes really short work. Works great on 18 to 20 gauge uh, sheet metal. And there it is. We have a replacement uh, patch panel. Now we've already cut out the floor and we're going to secure this into place while we plug weld with some sheet metal screws. And then we'll come back and fill those in also. And we really want to get our machine set right so that and clean the area thoroughly. Now one step that I didn't show is on the back side I had put weld through primer on yeah I completely forgot to show you that but use weld through primer on any bare steel now what I'm doing here a lot most people won't do this but I like to tape this area off and then use this product as seam sealer now that's my personal preference um, it's a little bit more expensive, but it works the best, and it's paintable. And I've tried every which way. If you don't put a ton on, just use your finger with a glove on. It works perfect. While it's still tacky, pull the tape. Now, this particular product cures or skims over pretty quickly, so you got to kind of work quick with it but it's the best seam sealer I've ever used. And there it is. Now we have a nice, clean, straight seam seal line. It's going to be really not visible once we get our uh, 
uh, liner in there and all of that. It's going to blend in perfect. I want to do a nice clean job. Okay, let's get our tunnel in for the last time. We're done. This is the final shot. This is what you can accomplish at home. Nice, clean work. A little forethought. Take your time. We can bolt this in and out. The transmission tunnel. The floor patch panel has been uh, plug welded into place. Seam sealed. Primed. We're ready to rock on. Hey, like, subscribe, leave a comment, good or bad, share the video. And as always, hey, thanks for watching.